the ancient landscape of Egypt, where the sands whisper tales of grandeur and mystery, there emerged a lineage so potent their legacy would etch an indelible mark on the annals of time. At the heart of this saga stood Queen Merisanth III, a figure of nobility and strength, whose bloodline was as royal as the Nile's fertile banks. Born to Hetaferes II and Prince Kawab, she was not only a beacon of her lineage's grandeur, but also a living testament to the enduring legacy of Pharaoh Khufu, her grandfather, whose monument, the Great Pyramid, commands the Giza Plateau as a stone sentinel of ancient wonders. Mary Sank's life was intertwined with the reign of King Khafra, her husband, under whose aegis the second of the Great Pyramids and the enigmatic Sphinx were erected, serving as eternal guardians of their legacy. The marriage was not merely a union of hearts, but a strategic alliance that fortified their divine authority, weaving together the fabric of political and spiritual ascendancy that characterized the era's pharaonic rule. The monuments of Giza, colossal and serene, stood as testaments to the architectural and celestial wisdom that flourished under their reign. These structures were not merely tombs, but a complex cosmological map, reflecting the ancient Egyptians' deep understanding of the stars, their cycles, and their impact on the Nile's life-giving floods. The Great Sphinx itself, with the body of a lion and the head of a man, symbolized the pharaoh's might and wisdom, serving as a protector of the plateau and a guardian of the gateway to the afterlife. In the tradition of her esteemed lineage, Merisank III was laid to rest in a tomb that was a marvel of its time. Hetepheres, in her maternal foresight, bestowed upon her daughter a sarcophagus of black granite, its surfaces adorned with depictions of palace facades, this sarcophagus was not just a vessel for the afterlife, but a stone chronicle embodying the architectural and artistic zenith that her family's rule had nurtured. The burial site, part of the larger necropolis at Giza, was a confluence of artistry, spirituality and power, mirroring the celestial order that governed their beliefs and their reign. The greatness of this period was not solely measured by the stone and mortar of its monuments, but by the cultural and spiritual legacies that thrived under the pharaoh's stewardship. The advancements in mathematics, astronomy and medicine, the profundity of their religious convictions, and the artistry in their monuments and artifacts collectively heralded a golden age of civilization. These achievements were a testament to their pursuit of Maat, the cosmic order and balance, which dictated every aspect of ancient Egyptian life, from the flooding of the Nile to the intricate rites of the afterlife. As we gaze upon the remnants of their glory, let us not merely see stones weathered by time, but the echoes of a civilization that reached for the stars, grounded in the wisdom of its rulers and sanctified by its gods. The story of Queen Merisank III and her lineage is a beacon, reminding us that our past is a compass for our future, urging us to seek knowledge in the sands of time, to understand the greatness within ourselves, and to strive for a legacy that endures beyond the ephemeral. Through the lens of history we learn not just of what was, but of what can be, inspired by the ancients' quest for harmony between the heavens and the earth, between spirit and matter. Let their journey through the ages encourage us to build our own monuments, not of stone, but of wisdom, courage, and an unyielding quest for greatness. In the vein of Queen Merisank III's legacy, let us traverse further into the essence of ancient wisdom, where each step taken is a stride towards understanding our intrinsic greatness. The endeavors of the ancient Egyptians, particularly under the stewardship of such luminous figures, were not mere acts of governance or construction, but were deeply imbued with a quest for eternal harmony and understanding. Their civilization, one of the pinnacles of human achievement, was predicated on principles that resonate through time, urging us to look beyond the ephemeral towards the immutable truths. The construction of the pyramids, a feat unmatched in precision and ambition, was more than an architectural triumph. It was a reflection of the Egyptians' profound grasp of astronomy, engineering, and the sacred. These structures, aligned with celestial bodies, served as a bridge between the earth and the heavens, a testament to their belief in the continuity of life beyond the mortal realm. This synergy between the earthly and the divine encapsulates the essence of their greatness, a civilization that sought to live in accordance with the cosmic order. 
The legacy of Merisank III and her contemporaries also highlights the role of women in ancient Egyptian society, where queens and priestesses wielded significant influence both in the spiritual and temporal domains. This matriarchal strength underscores a society that valued balance, not just in the cosmos but within its own social structure, recognizing the vital contributions of both men and women in sustaining the fabric of their world. As custodians of this rich heritage, our journey towards self-knowledge and greatness is illuminated by the wisdom of the past. The ancients teach us that greatness is not merely a function of what we build externally, but what we cultivate internally. Our legacy, much like that of the pyramids, should be founded on principles that transcend time, wisdom, balance and harmony. In embracing the lessons of Queen Merisank III and her era, we are reminded that the pursuit of knowledge is a noble quest, one that bridges the past and the future. Let us draw inspiration from their achievements, not merely as historical curiosities, but as beacons that guide our own quest for inner standing and excellence. In doing so, we not only pay homage to their legacy, but also forge our own path towards a greatness that is both personal and universal. Thus, as we stand in the shadow of the ancients, let us remember that the light of the past is a guidepost for the future, urging us towards a deeper comprehension of the world and our place within it. The story of Merisank III and the civilization she represents is a call to all of us to explore the depths of our heritage, to seek wisdom in the silence of the stones, and to build our own legacy with the knowledge that the greatness of the past is a foundation upon which we can construct our future. Our contemplation of the ancients, particularly of Queen Merisank III and the civilization that cradled her existence, beckons us further into the labyrinth of human achievement and spiritual inner standing. It is here, within the heart of ancient wisdom, that we uncover the keystones of true greatness, unity with the natural world, a profound reverence for the cycle of life, and an unwavering commitment to the principles of justice and truth embodied by Ma'at, the ancient Egyptian concept that governed both the cosmos and human society. This exploration into the past reveals the ancient Egyptians' mastery over harmony, not just in their monumental constructions, but in their everyday lives where the Nile's ebb and flow dictated the rhythm of their existence. Their deep connection with the natural world, viewed as a manifestation of the divine, offers a powerful lesson for the contemporary world, often estranged from its natural roots. In their reverence for the Nile, the sun and the stars, the ancients model a way of being that embraces the interconnectedness of all life, urging us toward a more sustainable and mindful existence. Moreover, the legacy of Merisank III and her forebears underscores the value of art and beauty as conduits for spiritual and intellectual enlightenment. The exquisite craftsmanship of their monuments, the poetry of their language, and the depth of their religious texts all speak to a culture that found in beauty a path to the divine. This aesthetic sensibility married to a rigorous intellectual pursuit fashioned a society where the arts were not mere decoration, but integral to the fabric of life offering insights into the human condition and the workings of the universe. As we stand on the precipice of the future, gazing back at the luminous past, the story of ancient Egypt with its pharaohs and queens, its gods and temples, serves as a mirror reflecting our own potential for greatness. It teaches us that true greatness is born from the alignment of the human spirit with the higher principles of order, beauty and truth. It reminds us that our achievements, be they in science, art or governance, are most enduring when they serve not just our immediate needs, but the greater good, echoing the ancient Egyptians' dedication to the welfare of their society and the balance of the natural world. In this way, the past becomes not just a record of what has been, but a map for what can be. The legacy of Queen Merisank III, entwined with the stones of Giza, the waters of the Nile and the stars above, calls to us across the millennia, urging us to pursue knowledge, to create beauty and to live in harmony with the world around us. This is the path to greatness, a journey that bridges the ancient and the modern, guiding us toward a future where we, like the pharaohs of old, can leave a legacy that stands the test of time. Thus, as we continue our own journey through life, let us carry with us the wisdom of the ancients, letting it inspire us to build, to dream and to understand. 
Let us embrace the lessons of Merisank Threed and her world, recognizing that within each of us lies the potential for greatness, a spark of the divine that, when nurtured, can illuminate the darkness and guide us toward a brighter future. In this way, we honor the past, enrich the present, and seed the future with the timeless virtues of wisdom, courage, and compassion. Kindly click like, subscribe, and share this channel.